high vibes everybody uh, just want to get on here and make a video about self-restraint so the aspects of self-restraint that I'm going to go into because I'm going to go into like a few different aspects of it so I'm going to go into you know self-restraint that helps you and self-restraint that actually holds you back that's actually restraining you and also how self-restraint relates to your fears so might as well get right into it so a lot of times when we're thinking about you know how we you know restrain ourselves from different things you know a lot of self-restraint is good for you you know you want to have that self-restraint let's say you're trying to lose weight and you see those cookies and you see those donuts or you see something sweet that you want you know you have that self-restraint to stop yourself from actually getting that so that you can achieve your goals you know that's a good thing about self-restraint right there you know so you want to make sure that, you know, when you're making different goals and you're actually saying, OK, I'm not going to do that, that you do have that that self-discipline and self-restraint in order to stop yourself from doing the things that would stop you from achieving the goals that you're trying to achieve. So with that being said, you want to make sure that you are, you know, checking to see if the self-restraint is actually something that's helping you and guiding you on to what you're trying to do. Because there's a lot of times where you start having fears and doubts and then that self-restraint is actually a self-restraint. You know, it is a restraint. It's restraining you from doing what you want to do and everything. You know, a lot of fears are, you know, built in subconscious programs to where that it is going to be a self-restraint. It's going to be a, a restraining program to stop you from doing what you want to do. Like, let's say you're like, I want to move someplace, but I'm used to it being hot and that place is cold. Well, what are you really trying to get? Does the weather and the environment even matter to what your actual goal is? Or is that just a step along the way? And when you're saying, oh, well, you don't want to you know, deal with the cold. You're, you're afraid that you're not going to like it or it's not going to work for you. Well, in that case, you're actually having a self-restraint that is restraining you. That's stopping you from being able to do the things that you want to do. And do the things that you know that you can do. But you just have that fear, you know, stopping, placing something on you to be like, OK, you know what? That's not a good idea. I shouldn't do that. And in a way, you're limiting yourself, you know, so you don't ever want to limit yourself because we are the limitless beings. We can do so much. We can do almost anything. So when you are going through and seeing, making a decision on something, you know, don't take it from a place of, OK, you know, like I'm, I, I don't like this or that. Look at it from a place, okay, so if me doing this is going to actually help me achieve a certain goal, what, what, what goals are you going to be able to achieve, basically, by doing it? So you don't want to have these things stop you and actually restrain you from doing things. You know, there's a lot of different ways that we can actually restrain ourselves. That's why it's called self-restraint, because we are restraining ourselves from doing certain things. You know like I said, some of those things can be good. They can be positive. There's a lot of good and positive self-restraints that you can have, you know, because some people, you know, they have um, they have different urges for things, you know, whether it be mental, physical, sexual, whatever type of urges you are having, you know, and you're like, OK, I don't need to do that. You know, you, you so you do go ahead and place some of that self-restraint on yourself in order to stop you from being able to do what you're trying to do. So don't ever feel like like when you're trying to go and do these things and you're trying to stop yourself, don't feel guilty for actually, you know, stopping yourself and putting that self-restraint on you. Because a lot of times your ego will try to stop you from doing the self-restraint. They're going to make you be like, no, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and give into it because it's going to help you out. It's going to give you that that pleasure or whatever you were trying to get out of that, that particular, um, whatever you were trying to do, whatever you're trying to get out of it. So you want to make sure that you are looking at it from a way, from a perspective of, okay, does this actually align with my current goals? Is this what's actually going to you know, keep me turning up? Is this what's going to keep me, you know, rising and going along on my path? Or is this going to, you know, make you go down a totally different opposite way? Or is it going to be something that you can, you know, change and make it a little bit better for yourselves? You know, so don't limit yourself by... By keeping these things, you know, you know, in that particular mindset, because a lot of people, you know, only think of self-restraint as, oh, you know, you got to have that self-restraint for the good things. But there's also the other side to it, you know, because I always talk about that duality. There's always multiple sides and multiple viewpoints and perspective. 
I'm sorry, perspectives as to what you're trying to do. So you want to make sure that you are looking at it from all sides because all aspects, you know, play into the bigger picture. You don't want to just look at it from one aspect because then you're missing out on certain things. So when you're looking at your self-restraint, you need to see, okay, is this actually something that I have placed on myself? Or is it something that um, I need for a goal that I'm trying to do? Or is it something that my ego is trying to stop me from doing? You want to make sure that you are doing those those different checks and asking those different questions. You know, doing that inner work on yourself in order so that you can uh, you know differentiate those different things inside your mind and differentiate those different things. You know, between your your spirit, mind, and body. You know, the, between the different aspects of what you're trying to do because you need to always be keep in mind that. There's three aspects to everything, you know, basic aspects, you know, there's different sections that you go down into it, but that's for you to do your own search on. But, you know, the spiritual, mental and physical aspects of things, you know, and when you look at a lot of different things, it really boils down to those three aspects because, you know, that is the Trinity. That's how everything works. You know, that's what keeps things flowing and into that motion, into that momentum. So make sure that you're looking at it from those three perspectives because once you look at things from those base three perspectives you're going to be able to get a lot more out of what you're trying to do and it's not going to limit or try to stop you from what you're trying to do you know don't let these um these self-restraints that are that are keeping you from doing what you're trying to do actually stop you you know go ahead and have the self-restraint from your self-restraints you know, so uh, once you start looking into it, you know, you'll start getting a little bit deeper picture of it. But I just wanted to get on here and basically motivate you guys to start, you know, looking at what type of self-restraints you've already placed on yourself. And if these self-restraints are actually going to stop you from doing what you're able to do or if it's going to try to keep you in a negative aspect or a negative mind frame or what if it's or is it going to actually push you to do something better to achieve the goals you're trying to achieve to keep raising up and bringing up yourself in vibration and being able to achieve the life that you want to have because you can do all these things as long as you have certain self restraints on certain things that's why I say remember there's the duality and so don't get confused when I say self restraint there's two that I'm talking about in this video this more for you to be able to go in on you know the good self restraint that you put on yourself in order to achieve a goal and then the self restraints that are stopping yourself from being able to do the things that you want to do the ones that are really restraining yourself not just a self restraint it's a restraining of yourself so you know the flip side you know both sides of the coin there but you know that that's pretty much all I wanted to get on here and say you know if you want higher informational knowledge you know please go out and check out check out some of the different connects videos um, there's a lot of them that are making really good videos with really good information out there and then if you want to take it a little bit further then you know go check out the private community reprogram the and you know check that out and also you can message me on here or on my on my Instagram and you know ask me any questions you might want to have or you know we could just talk because you know there's you know there's a lot of times there's hard to find people that you could actually have these types of conversations with and talk about the things that you're, you're dealing with so don't be afraid to go ahead and comment on here or send me a message on on instagram or anything because you know i probably will respond most likely i am going to respond to you because i want to help you out i want to you know get you no know, you know get this information out there but not only that you know i would like to talk with other like-minded people as well because this is all you know get uh, a balance of giving and receiving you know so you know i give out a lot of information but at the same time you know i want to be able to talk to people about it as well so this is all about extending that network so you know just keep you know pushing forward and keep raising up and raising that awareness to a point to where you're not going to be restraining yourself in a negative way but you know you have those self-restraints on the things that you're trying to do but that's all i wanted to say peace in and out high vibes and my full love and always my gratitude